and Ducks baseball is back on Long Island. And that is a great thing for all of us. One of the great family-friendly entertainment destinations in the region. Uh, and the fact that, that we can stand here today and say that Ducks baseball is back for Long Island is a, a great sign of how far we've come out of this pandemic and the progress we're making. So May 28th, opening night here at uh, Fairfield Properties Ballpark. The Ducks will be back playing the Lexington Legends, uh, 6.35 start time. And we want to welcome all those Long Island Ducks fans. Come on back to the ballpark. Come out to the game. Uh, it is truly one of the, the, the best family entertainment uh, destinations anywhere in the region. Uh, I will be there uh, that night, opening night, as I am every opening uh, for the Ducks. And uh, it's always a, a great night. Uh, stadium uh, filled with people who are, are, are cheering, kids who are, are thrilled, people ready to have their, their hot dogs, a drink, a beer. Uh, it's, uh, it's baseball. It's baseball in the summertime. Uh, that's what um, th that's America's pastime, and and Ducks baseball on Long Island uh, is a pastime for us here. And to know after the year we've gone through uh, with uh, with a season lost last year because of COVID, uh, to know that that's not happening this year, that Ducks baseball is back, is uh, is a thrill for all of us. We, we couldn't be more excited, couldn't be happier. Uh, and we're thrilled to be here today, of course, uh, with uh, the owner of the Ducks, the, the, the person who um, uh, created this, this ballpark, really, the, the, the league, and, and uh, somebody who's been a, a great uh, philanthropist and, and, and great uh, member of this community, uh, Frank Bolton. Um, he brought the Ducks here, uh, and I couldn't be more thrilled to be here with him today. Uh, as we welcome Ducks baseball back to Long Island. Uh, also uh, with us, of course, General Manager Mike Pfaff uh, as well, uh, who's going to be saying a few words in just a moment. And uh, we're here also with the Chief of uh, the Department, uh, Stu Cameron, Suffolk County Police Department, uh, who is not just here because he is a big Ducks fan, uh, he, which, of course, he is. <laughs> um, he's here because, you know, we're coming out of this pandemic. We're talking about vaccinations, and this site, this ballpark, and uh, and the Long Island Ducks, they were part of our recovery uh, for four months. Vaccinations were happening here, uh, partnering with uh, Northwell Health. Uh, this was a place in our community where people were getting vaccinated, uh, and and thousands of people received vaccinations. Uh, so. In, in so many ways, this ballpark and this franchise, the Long Island Ducks, um, so much a part of the community, have been a part of helping our community emerge from this pandemic. And so uh, I can tell you we're happy to announce that on opening day, May 28th, uh, that the Suffolk County Police Department, our, our MedCat team, will be here uh, and will be providing vaccinations uh, to the public, anyone who needs a vaccine. Come to the to the ballpark, uh, see opening night, see great baseball being played, have a great time with your family and friends. And if you haven't been vaccinated yet, you'll also be able to do that too. Uh, we we want to make vaccination as as easy as possible. Uh, so uh, this is a great opportunity. You can have a great family friendly night, great night, great outing with your family. And at the same time, if you haven't been vaccinated, you'll be able to do it nice and easy uh, at the ballpark. And uh, I want to thank the, the Ducks because the first 250 people that get vaccinated uh, will receive a, um, a voucher for a free ticket to a future Ducks game. So uh, first 250 people get a vaccine, uh, you'll be able to get that voucher to uh, get a free ticket to a future Ducks game. So come on down to the ballpark opening night, May 28th, Ducks baseball is back. It's a great thing for Long Island, and it's another sign that we are coming out of this pandemic. Uh, with that, I want to turn it over to uh, Mike Pfaff, General Manager. And I want to thank Mike 
and, and, and Frank again. There have been a ton of improvements at the ballpark that uh, people haven't been able to see. The work has continued here. There's, they're always working to provide a, a great experience for the fans, uh, and, and that work has continued. Even while the Ducks haven't been able to take the field, they have still uh, done the work to make sure that fans have a great experience when they come here. So I want uh, Mike to talk a little bit about that as well. Mike, congratulations. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Well, thank you, everybody, for being here today. Uh, the big news yesterday was obviously that uh, there will be no testing needed to enter the Ducks ballpark this year. That was the biggest question that fans had throughout the course of the offseason as we were speaking to them about buying season tickets, mini plans, individuals, and group tickets. And the answer to that uh, clearly now is no. Fans will not need to be tested to come into the ballpark. We will have safety parameters in place to comply with all state regulations and, and health regulations, but fans will not have to worry about having their child take a test before they come through the gates of the ballpark, which I know is a big relief to many of the people that we speak to on a daily basis. Uh, saying that, the tickets are on sale now. Tickets can be purchased by visiting liducks.com or by calling 631-940-TIXX. Jordan, make sure you get that in the article, okay? I don't want you to miss that. And we have made a tremendous amount of improvements in the ballpark, as the county executive noted, this entire off-season through a mechanism in our new lease with the county and, and our partnership with Fairfield Properties, which plays a big part in it, we've been able to do a tremendous amount of work here, including new rails coming in throughout the ballpark. So the safety rails that we had were starting to wear and starting to be a little less safe. Now we have full new safety railings on the lower concourse throughout the ballpark with a state-of-the-art PVC product made by Avcon. We have all new safety netting. Uh, you know, people have noticed at ballparks throughout the country that safety netting needs to be extended because many people are spending more time looking at their phones, which cuts down the reaction time when foul balls come into, the, into play or projectiles from the field. Well, we've extended it all the way down the first and third base line now, so there's much more safe seating for fans to choose from. We've done a lot of aesthetic landscaping outside the ballpark, which is just starting to bloom. You'll notice outside, right where the newly painted Westgate mural is, where our new naming rights partner signages as well, and new ticket office awning as well as the new signage throughout the outside of the ballpark really gives it that curb appeal again. So there, there's been an awful lot of work going on throughout the ballpark, um, including upstairs in the suite level two, that I think fans will take notice of. We've made a few upgrades to the amenities that the players will experience in the clubhouses as well, um, and I'm, ha I'm happy to talk about that on the side. But I'd be remiss if I didn't express our gratitude to the county executive. You know, Steve has been with us every step of the way, uh, partnering with us and helping push us, you know, towards, uh, you know, compliance and making sure that, you know, we, we have all the best possible data and knowledge that we could have to make sure that, um, you know, we get back to business, which is, which is so important. And uh, as a token of our appreciation, I, I think that Frank and Quacker Jack have something for the county executive to put on. 2021 Long Island Ducks jersey. All right. Okay, I love it. Yeah. 2021, yeah, 2021. Frank 21. is unbuttoning the jersey. He's the most expensive clubhouse manager in the league. <laughs> <laughs> this is at 21. That's my uh, my kids' numbers in sports. That's perfect. They, they were all born on the 21st by some odd. <laughs> there you go. That's, awesome. that's your number. And so 21. Awesome. This is a great number. All right. Looks good. So thank you again to the county executive and everyone at, at, at Suffolk County, including uh, Deputy County Executive Lisa Black, uh, Commissioner of the Department of Health, uh, Dr. Gregson Piggott. And uh, at this time, I'd like to turn it over to uh, Ducks founder and CEO, Frank Bolton. All right. Thank you, Frank. Well, thank you, Michael, and thank you, Steve. Uh, you know, we have a, a lot of seats, as you can see, for sale. Uh, we've been missing everyone out there. Last game was played uh, first week of October 2019. So as Mike said, we keep ourselves busy. We've been trying to improve this ballpark for the experience for all of our fans here on Long Island. Remember, it says Long Island Ducks across our jersey, and, and we want to let everybody know that the Long Island Ducks are open for business. We miss you. We welcome you. We want to see you here on May 28th and through the rest of the season. We have a couple new exciting teams that have joined the league. There's a lot of new stuff uh, that 
are in and around the ballpark we've been working on. Uh, and, and our goal, as it was the first day we opened up over 20 years ago, is to make sure that everyone that comes through our gates has the best time that they can possibly have. We're going to make you happy. We're going to make you comfortable. We're going to make you safe. Welcome back. Thank you so much. All right. So thank you very much, Frank. Uh, the message is simple. Ducks baseball is back. Come on back to the ballpark. You don't have to get tested. Uh, just come down and enjoy great Ducks baseball all of Long Island. Uh, we're coming back here to Fairfield Properties Ballpark, and Long Island is coming back out of this pandemic, and, and that's really the great message here today. I want to thank uh, the state. We, you know, obviously we've been pressing on this issue um, and the response to continue on the reopenings. The numbers are getting better. We're down below 2 percent um, across uh, the whole week. We're less than 2 percent in the positivity rate for the first time. Uh, since uh, before the uh, beginning of the second wave of this virus, uh, the hospitalizations continue to decline as well. So we're getting better and better. The numbers getting better every day, uh, and this is just a great sign of that. And uh, so we want to welcome everybody back. And finally, want to thank um, uh, Mark, uh, Michael, and and um, and Gary Broxmeyer from Fairfield Properties. This is Fairfield Properties Ballpark, and you know they they came on and uh, you know. Obviously, COVID uh, has interrupted so much in our lives, but they are uh, great supporters, uh, great baseball people, and, and obviously they, they build some of the great housing uh, anywhere in the region, in the state, in the country, I think. So we can't thank them enough for their support as well.